Oh my god, today is the day. Today is the day. I'm finally, I'm finally going to see the killers. This is the beginning of Killers Palooza. <gasps> so as I was saying, I woke up all on my own at 9 a.m. That's like early for me. Um, then I uh, answered comments. <laughs> see me struggling I can't then I went and got a manicure the lady got really mad that I just wanted a gel color and not like a full-on like manicure it's gold it's glitter it's freaking Las Vegas so yeah the lady got a little pissed off at me but I mean I take good care of my nails okay I don't need you to cut my cuticles and shit I just wanted a color that's it I wanted something that would last me the whole entire trip and I think this will be it very glitzy which is just what I wanted for the killers <laughs> I also went and got my brows threaded so look at them they're looking good they're looking really good but yeah I'm super super excited I am still playing around with like some possible outfit combinations right now I have some velvet pants snazzy and uh, just a regular white t-shirt top because I want to wear one of my jackets I don't know which one we shall see just finished my makeup I think it looks pretty pretty good <laughs> oh my god I'm freaking out already so in case you don't know I'm a humongous humongous killers fan and I have been since I discovered them at the age of 13 when they <laughs> came out and they were featured in VH1's um, you ought to know artists like that's how I found out about the killers and from that day that I saw somebody told me on the H1, I was just like hooked. I was hooked. I bought the album, bought Hot Fuzz. I still have the original CD that I purchased when I was 13. And since then, I've been a huge fan and I followed them throughout their whole career. <laughs> it's been incredible. I've met so many of my friends through The Victims, which is the the official killers fan club and i still talk to the people that i met through the victims till like today we're still friends so it's been crazy how much the killers have influenced my life without saying too much um i don't think i would be here if it wasn't for their music and the way their music uplifts me and I wouldn't be the person who I am today without their music. That's all I will say and that's why the killers, you know, mean as much as they do to me and why I have supported them the way I do. Alright guys, so I've been keeping a secret from social media. I've known this since yesterday. I didn't want to spill the beans because um, I, I don't know, I want to keep it a secret, but you guys are seeing this much later. So look at this. I'm gonna go meet Brandon Flowers and Ronnie freaking Benucci. I'm like, I'm about to pee my pants. I'm not gonna lie. I have been wanting to meet them and trying to meet them for the past, oh my god, I don't even know, like, I would say like 9 years, maybe 10 years, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna die. Alright guys, I can like, my life is like done, it's done, so I was keeping a secret since last night. I freaking met Brandon Flowers and Ronnie. Like, my heart still isn't beating. Oh my fucking god. I wanna cry so damn bad right now. Oh my god. It was just, it felt like a freaking dream. Like, he was just standing there. I was like, he's real. He's fucking real. The show hasn't started. I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's like the best day of my life. 
show is about to start at any moment. to see the attempt, not to see the perfect landing. And we're going to try our hardest tonight to pull this thing off. Thank you for your support. Okay, so I'm back home now. That was 
I do think I have my shoes. I can't believe I met them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was so surreal. I still I'm still wearing the damn meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> little badge from 91X. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So let me tell you. Oh my god, I'm like knocking things down. So let me tell you how it happened. So, um, as I told you guys before, I found out yesterday that I was going to meet them. So I was like freaking out yesterday, like after work. <coughs> so I was already freaking out. Um, all the drive to the venue, <laughs> I was shaking, my legs were like, like freaking ramen noodles and I was just a mess. <laughs> Once we got to the venue, that's when like my anxiety like hit me because I honestly, like for those of you who don't know me and don't, haven't followed, you know, my love for the killers, I've been trying to, I've been trying to meet them for the longest time for the longest time every single show i've tried to meet them i've come so close that i do have brandon's like autograph that my brother got and i took a picture of my brother with brandon he acknowledged me because my brother started telling brandon about how about me and how i'm a big fan so he looked over at me i was like oh my god he's like <laughs> he's like looking at me and then um my brother asked him like oh my, can you take a picture with my sister he's like oh yeah come over here and that's when security guards pushed him away <laughs> so that was the closest i have gotten to meet him other times like, i'll wait hours and hours and then um for some reason they're not meeting the fans or the venue doesn't allow them to after the show so i've seen them like drive by in their tour bus and i'm just like <laughs> but today i met them <laughs> i met brandon flowers and i met ronnie panucci oh my god i still i still can't believe it like, it's just <laughs> dropping my ring that's my grandma's ring oh my freaking i just i don't I can't believe it i'm so like thankful and um uh and they just they honestly mean so much to me it's so stupid i'm like i'm actually i'm actually tearing up <laughs> oh, but it was like I met my heroes today and I'm just so happy that it finally happened. I told them that I was gonna follow them to like other shows in LA, Vegas and Salt Salt Lake City. They were really happy and just like seeing Brandon just with like the biggest smile and I, I was like of course like freaking out and I told them that I've been following them since I was like, 13. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> I've just done so much growing up with them. And like I said earlier, like I honestly wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be the person that I that I am today without their music and I probably would not have been on YouTube if it wasn't for them <laughs> too, which is so I don't know, it's just so crazy. I started off just making videos about the killers almost 10 years ago. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't mean to cry. <laughs> At least not on camera. But I'm just so happy <laughs> right now. And um, I'm so happy that I get to, you know, follow them around. I have three more shows to enjoy. Three more shows. And I'm going to take you guys along all three days. <sighs> so happy about that i'm so glad i did it this is just like i've always dreamed of following them around and um you know finally got my chance <laughs> finally did it well i'm finally doing it so i'm gonna stop recording now because i feel like i want to cry a little bit more <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you're brand new please subscribe there will be a lot more 
<laughs> killer vlogs coming your way and um I freaking have tears but you know what my makeup still looks good my freaking bare minerals hashtag not not sponsored but holy crap it's still looking good now I know what makeup I'm gonna pack with me because I'm impressed I'm impressed I've been crying and no mascara smudges lipstick still on but yeah I'm gonna <laughs> gonna turn the camera off now so thank you guys once again for watching follow me on social media and i'll see you guys very soon with the next vlog <laughs> bye i promise i won't cry in every single vlog but i just got too emotional okay <laughs> bye <laughs> i suck at opening boxes now so this is the box it was drawn by myself when i was two years old you can see the squiggle, the colors, kindergarten-esque, chic. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this box. But let's open it up. 